Hey, Mr. Richards here. Today we're going to talk about complex fractions and unit rates. Now, what is a complex fraction? Well, complex fractions are fractions. That makes sense. <laughs> They're fractions with one or more fractions in the numerator denominator or both. Now complex fractions are simplified when both the numerator and denominator are integers. If we look to simplify one fourth over one fifth, the way we're going to do this is to use division. So imagine, not even imagine, but that is our complex fraction there, one-fourth over one-fifth. And that red line is going to be our division line. So we're going to have one-fourth divided by one-fifth. Now recall, when we divide fractions, we actually multiply by the reciprocal, or we keep, change, flip. So we have one-fourth, we change our division to multiplication, and we flip or take the reciprocal or multiplicative inverse of that last one, 5 over 1. And I'll finish this by multiplying the numerator by the numerator and the denominator by the denominator. 1 times 5 is 5. 4 times 1 is 4. So you could have this answer as 5 fourths or 1 and 1 fourth. Either way works. What about 2 thirds over 6? 2 thirds over 6. Well, this is 2 thirds divided by 6. And recall, any whole number we can just write over 1. So when we keep, change, flip this, we have 2 thirds times 1 sixth. Now we can cross simplify here. We can divide the 6 by 2 and the 2 by 2. Remember, when you simplify fractions, you can simplify before you multiply or after you multiply. And most of the time, it's easier to simplify before you multiply. You're now left with 1 times 1 is 1, 3 times 3 is 9, so 2 thirds over 6 is 1 ninth. Marcus has a bag of cat food that contains 22 and a half cups. If he feeds his cats a total of 3 fourths cups of food per day, how many days will the bag last? Well, this is a division problem. So this is really 22 and a half cups divided by three-fourths cup. Let's go ahead and change our 22 and a half into an improper fraction. 22 times 2 is 44, plus 1 is 45 over 2 over three-fourths. Well, this is going to be 45 over 2 divided by 3 fourths. And when we keep, change, flip, this is 45 over 2 times 4 over 3. And we can actually cross simplify both crosses here. We can divide the 45 by 3 and the 3 by 3, and that becomes 15 and 1. And the 2 and the 4 might be easier to spot. We can divide both those by 2. You end up with 2 and 1. Then 15 times 2 is 30. 1 times 1 is, well, 1. And 30 over 1 is simply 30. We're asked how many days, so 30 days. Write the percent as a fraction in simplest form. Now, this looks more complicated than it really is. 6 and 1 fourth percent. Well, any percent. Remember, 25% even is just 25 over 100. So 6 and 1 fourth percent is just 6 and 1 fourth over 100. So this is really 6 and 1 fourth divided by 100. Now let's go ahead and change these uh, into a form we can uh, divide and multiply. So we need to get 6 and 1 fourth into an improper fraction. 6 times 4 is 24, 
plus 1 is 25 fourths divided by 100 over 1. Now don't cross simplify anything until you get to the div or multiplication part. Do not cross simplify with division. We'll keep change flip this. We'll do 25 over 4 since we're keeping. We'll change the division to multiplication and we'll flip take the reciprocal of 100 over 1 which is 1 over 100. Now we can cross simplify and we can do that here by dividing 25 and 100 by 25. Those cross simplify into 1 and 4 and you're left with 1 times 1 is 1, 4 times 4 is 16 so 1 16th is your answer. Good luck!